Hi, penguins and dolphins, it's Miss Boyer. I'm gonna read you a story, my favorite story. Caps for sale. This is the front of the book. Say front of the book. This is the back of the book. Say back of the book. When we want to do reading, we have to start with the front. And here's the title, Caps for Sale. A tale of a peddler, some monkeys, and their monkey business. The author and the illustrator of this story is Sphere Slotovinka. The author writes the words and the illustrator draws the pictures. Title page. Oh, another title page. Once there was a peddler who sold caps, but he was not like an ordinary peddler carrying his wares on his back. He carried them on top of his head. First, he had on his own checked cap, then a bunch of gray caps, then a bunch of brown caps, then a bunch of blue caps, and red caps on the very top. He walked up and down the streets of the town, holding himself very straight so as not to upset his caps. As he went along, he called, Caps! Caps for sale! Fifty cents a cap! One morning, he couldn't sell any caps. He walked up the street and he walked down the street calling, Caps! Caps for sale! 50 cents a cap. But nobody wanted any caps that morning. Nobody even wanted a red cap. He began to feel hungry, but he had no money for lunch. I think I'll go for a walk in the country, said he. And he walked out of town, slowly, slowly, so as not to upset his caps. He walked for a long time until he came to a great big tree. That's a nice place. That's a nice place for a rest, thought he. And he sat down very slowly under the tree and leaned back little by little against the tree trunk so as not to disturb all his caps. Then he put his hand to feel if they were straight. First, his own checked cap, then the gray caps, then the brown caps, then the blue caps, and the red caps on the very top. They were all there. So... He went to sleep and he slept and he slept for a long time. When he woke up, he was refreshed and rested. But before standing, he felt with his hand to make sure his caps were in the right place. But all he felt was his own checked cap. He looked to the right of him, no caps. He looked to the left of him, no caps. He looked in the back of him, no caps. He looked behind the tree, no caps. Then he looked up. And what do you think he saw? Monkeys! On every branch was a monkey, and on every monkey was a gray or a brown or a blue or a red cap. Those monkeys. The peddler looked at the monkeys. The monkeys looked at the peddler. He didn't know what to do. So finally, he spoke to them. He took his finger. He said, you monkeys, you, you give me back my caps. But the monkeys only shook their fingers back at him and said, Oh, hoo, hoo. this made the peddler angry. So he shook both his hands at them and he said, you monkeys, you, you give me back my caps. But the monkeys only shook both their hands at him and said, <laughs> oh, now the peddler started to feel quite angry. He stomped his foot and he said, you monkeys, you, you give me back my caps. But the monkeys only stomped their feet back at him and said, <laughs> By this time, the peddler was really very, very angry. So he stomped both his feet at, at the monkeys and he shouted, You monkeys, you, you must give me back my caps. But the monkeys only stomped both their feet at him and said, 
At last, he became so angry that he took off his cap and he threw it on the ground and he began to walk away. But then each monkey took off their cap and all the gray caps and all the brown caps and all the blue caps and all the red caps came flying down out of the tree. So the peddler picked up his caps and put them back on his head. First his own checked cap, then the gray caps, then the brown caps, then the blue caps, and the red caps on the very top. And slowly, slowly, he walked back to the town, calling, Caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. The end. I love that story, those silly monkeys and their monkey business. I hope you enjoyed it too. We'll see you back at school again tomorrow. Bye.